I'm about to do this splits every day for the next 30 days. Well, it must be noted, first of all, that I don't stretch, which is pretty terrible for me, I know. But the truth is, I just keep telling myself I need to and then never get round to it. So, today marks a landmark in my life. I'm gonna start stretching every day for the next 30 days. Always wanted to be more flexible. And I think the splits is a good benchmark for my flexibility. So this is kind of just like an experiment for me, I guess, to try and improve my flexibility and see, and see how effective it would be to simply just do 30 seconds of split stretching every day, along with, okay, a, a bits of other stretches here and there, but the main focus will be the split. So it's, yeah, it's just an experiment to see what happens. And if if you watch the video, I will try my best to show you what happens. If you guys like these challenge videos and you want to see me do more, please subscribe and turn those post notifications on for new videos every week. Now I'll show you how flexible I am at the moment, which is nothing to be proud of, and how much I can't do the splits. And then I'll work on doing the splits every morning for the next 30 days and see how much improvement I can make. As in, how much lower I can go. But first, I'm told a warning is appropriate for those wanting to start their own stretching journey. It's really important to be careful when you stretch, not to push it too far. When I'm doing it, I'm pushing myself, but only to the point that I know my body can take and my legs can take. Because you can so easily tear a ligament or strain your muscle and that's apparently really painful. So please, if you do want to try something like this, be careful and don't overdo it. On that note, time to see how flexible I am on day one. Well, there you go. That's the result. I'm stretching day one. That's how far I can go, which is <coughs> it's shameful to be honest with you. But I guess it gives me a lot of room to improve and something to work towards. See you tomorrow. All right, it's day two of my stretching and I'm gonna see if I can do the split a little wider or deeper today, but truth is, I'm not sure if I will. What I've been told is you actually have to hold it for at least 30 seconds each time you try for it to allow you to improve at all, which I didn't do yesterday. So today I'm gonna to try and get down and hold it for as long as I can in that painful position. And um, hopefully it will help me improve a little bit for tomorrow. And this time I've got a tape measure to measure how close to the ground I can get, because it's not a lot, but I wanna really measure if I can make any improvement after 30 days of trying this. Man, <laughs> that is painful. So that was, it's pretty hard to measure to be honest with you, but that was roughly 42 centimeters, 40, 40 to 42 centimeters. Ah, a lot of room to improve, 40 centimeters. And right now, I have, my hopes are small because it's so painful being in that position. And I've never done, I've never been able to get to the ground in my whole life, but I'm gonna keep trying. I'm super interested to see if I can get any lower than 40 centimeters. On that note, see you on day three. All right, I couldn't even hold it for 30 seconds yesterday, man. It was too painful. So today, I know I need to hold it for longer to really improve on my split stretching. So I've got a stopwatch and I'm gonna have to hold it for 30 seconds. All right, let's go. That is not enjoyable. It feels like my balls are gonna rip in half. And so as painful as it was, I started working through the 30 seconds of stretching each day and gradually I tried to take each stretch a little further. I tried to control my breathing, taking long deep breaths, trying to lower myself slowly through each exhale. I basically put myself through a lot of pain for you guys to see if it's worth doing splits every day. All right, here we go. I think I might be improving. I feel like that one was a little bit lower than yesterday even. And on and on, I lowered myself into the pain, literally. Every day for 30 seconds, I split my legs open and tried to just breathe into the agony as it felt like my legs were just gonna all right, another 30 seconds. Here we go. 
It is definitely getting easier. It's getting less painful, and I feel like I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting lower. I need to measure it again, because I don't, it's just so hard to tell. All right, another day, another stretch, another splitting my legs open. I've got my timer here, and I'm going to really try and breathe into this one, which I've been told can really help lower yourself into a stretch. So I'm going to breathe myself deeper into more pain. All I can say is, I'm making progress. Yes! <laughs> Woo! All right, here we go. So this is day 30 of my stretching and it's gonna be interesting to see just how much lower I can go with my stretches. So I'm gonna do a couple of quick warm up stretches and then we get straight into the splits. Let's begin. All right, warm up stretch is done. I've got my tape measure and what was I to begin with? 40 to 42 centimeters. So let's see how much more I can do now. My God, that was by far the lowest I've ever gotten. I was like falling over, I was going so low. Like I was going, I don't even know why I was falling over, but wow, <laughs> I've never been that low before. And that was, as I said before, it's super hard to measure, but measuring the same way that I did in the beginning, wow. 19 to 20 centimeters, 19 to 20 from 40 to 42. That's so awesome, wow. <laughs> What is that? Let's like, say it's 20, 20 to 40 even. That's double, that's half, ah, I'm confused. That's 200% better or 50% better? I basically halved the distance to the floor in only 30 days of doing the splits. Pretty much just from doing 30 seconds of splits every day for 30 days, in 30 days. Wow, I'm stoked with that. I honestly did not expect to get that low. And that that's like, here, I'll show you how much. I mean, you guys know how much that is, but there. That's 19 to 20 centimeters. That's how far off I was from the floor. So, I mean, I don't know. If I kept this up for another another month, I'd, theoretically, I could go all the way to the ground. Woo! That feels like, feels like a success. I want to do that one more time just to kind of, I don't know, sink into it even more. See if I can get even lower. And the cool thing is, right, it doesn't hurt me nearly as much as it did on day one, which is really awesome. Like, hold up. When I first started this, even like, even for the first couple of weeks, I remember it was like agony. It was not pleasant. But now, even just on this last day, it's been so much less painful. <laughs> What more can I say? That's awesome. I'm stoked with that. I've never been able to do that in my life. Like, I never even expected to be able to do that. There you go. I guess stretching every day really can help improve your flexibility. That's what you want to do. I hope you guys enjoy this weird 30 day video of me stretching. Definitely let me know in the comments how you guys go if you try something like this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you next week.